let's do question one a one so for x we're not given that two is equal to three to the power x we we're supposed to leave our answer in logarithmic form basically what we're doing here we're changing from exponential form to logarithmic form remember the exponent becomes the subject so it's x is equal to and then three is the base and then two is the number so it means it's log two to base of three okay three is the base two is the number and the exponent is the subject so this is the answer in logarithmic form 1a2 we're solving for x here this is a set equation so what do we do we have to isolate the set so that we have a set on one side of the equation and then everything else must go to the other side so what are we going to do we're going to add one on both sides of the equation so it becomes square root of x plus 7 is equal to x plus 1 right and then what do we do after that we can square both sides if we square both sides what is going to happen to the square root it will disappear and then what we have we have x plus 7 is equal to x plus 1 squared right and then x plus 7 is equal to we square this x plus 1 times x plus 1 this becomes x squared and then say 2 times x times 1 that is plus 2x and then 1 squared that is 1 if you want you can do it the long way you can use your foil method x plus 1 squared means x plus 1 times x plus 1 then x times x you get x squared x times 1 you get x 1 times x you get x 1 times 1 you get 1 okay then becomes x squared plus 2x plus 1 which is just same as this right now let's get our standard form so it's going to be 0 is equal to x squared and then 2x minus x that will be 1x and then 1 minus 7 if we transpose 7 to the right hand side we'll get 1 minus 7 which is negative 6 and then now we can factorize here we can find the factors of negative 6 that can give us positive 1 that is positive 3 and negative 2 so we can factorize this so it becomes x plus 3 then x minus 2 all right so it means x is equal to, therefore x is equal to negative 3, or x is equal to 2. When it's a third equation like this, remember to check your answers. Let's check our answers. Where there's x, we're going to put negative 3 and also put negative 2. Let's do it like this. We have this. The square root of x plus 7 minus 1 is equal to x. Right? And then here, we're going to have if our x is negative 3 here you won't get negative 3 this side you see that we won't get negative 3 this side so we can say this is not applicable but if you put 2 here it becomes 2 plus 7 which is 9 square root of 9 which is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 and then also it's going to be 2 this side if x is 2 then this equation is correct so that's why we remain with x is equal to 2. Question 1b is a simultaneous equations. So we have two equations here. Let me rewrite them. x squared minus x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Let's make it equation 1. And then we have y minus 2x is equal to 7. Let's make it equation 2. Right? We're going to use substitution here so we can isolate y. y is equal to 7 minus 2. Uh, 7 plus 2x 7 plus 2x that's equation 3 and then we take this where it is y we put 7 plus 2x so it becomes x squared minus x minus put it in bracket 7 plus 2x and then minus 3 we just replaced y with 7 plus 2x is equal to 0 let's remove this bracket so it becomes x squared minus x minus 7 minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. All right, let's collect the like terms. We have x squared negative x minus 2x, that is negative 3x, and negative 7 minus 3, that is negative 10, is equal to 0. 
We're looking for the factors of negative 10 that can give us negative 3 is negative 5 and positive 2. So we have x minus 5, x plus 2, which is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 2. All right. And then we can get the values of y. We can use equation 3. We can even use equation 3. Right. If x is equal to 5, y is equal to 7 plus 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 7 is 17. Y is equal to 17. So the point here is 5, 17. These are the coordinates of the point of intersection. If x is equal to negative 2, so y is equal to 7 plus 2 times negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 7, that is 3. So y is equal to 3. And then another point of intersection will be negative 2, 3. Okay, we have solved simultaneously. And then for what values of x? Is 3x squared less than or equal to x? So let's write this in standard form. 3x squared minus x less than or equal to 0. Okay, and then we can factorize here x and then 3x minus 1 less than or equal to 0. Here we're going to get critical values. This is, this is not the solution. So it's either x is equal to 0 or from this, x is equal to 1 over 3. So these are critical values. So we're saying our graph, we want where our graph is less than or equal to 0. So this is 0, this is 1 over 3. So the graph is less than or equal to 0 between these two critical points between 0 and 1 over 3. So our x is between 0 and then 1 over 3. Okay, So that's the solution. So x greater than 0 but less than 1 over 3. Okay, All right. So if you have less than like this, it's very easy. If you have less than or equal to or less than, just put your x. Put your inequality sign here, inequality sign here. The lower critical value comes this side, the upper critical value comes this side. Okay. But in this case, we have less than or equal to. So we write less than or equal to like this. Okay.